Hey, what's up guys? In this project, we'll show you how to build a firework igniter. This DIY electronic igniter is perfect for setting up fireworks from a safe distance. It's a great way to launch explosives without having to use lighters or matches. This uses two 9 volt batteries to heat up a small coil of canthal wire. Canthal wire is great for high temperature applications that need resistance heating. Our button was constructed out of chipboard and was inspired by the Nintendo Labo. It features a spring mechanism that allows the button to be held momentarily. We made this into a downloadable template that you can print and cut out yourself. We think this works great with other projects like the Circuit Playground Express. The box enclosure is easy to take apart and put back together. It houses two 9 volt batteries, copper tape, and a set of alligator clips so there's plenty of room for additional electronics and components. We used a vinyl cutter to cut our design out of medium weight chipboard. These cutting machines can make precise cuts that are great for making intricate designs. They can also score fold lines which makes this a nice alternative to a laser cutter. Each piece is removed from the adhesive cutting mat. Tiny voids can be removed by poking them out. For really sharp corners, we used an X-Acto blade to lightly cut the top surface of the chipboard. This makes clean and crisp edges that are nice and square. For a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial of the button assembly, check out our learn guide. Links are in the description of this video. Strips of copper tape can be attached to the bottom of the actuator. To make this modular, we made a little tab for attaching alligator clips. Inside the box enclosure, we can plan out our circuit and lay down strips of copper tape. A longer piece is used to connect the positive wire and a shorter piece will connect to the negative wire. We can connect wires to the tape by sticking smaller pieces on top. The adhesive in our roll of copper tape is electrically conductive, so we can layer them. We can DIY our own custom battery connector by wiring two 9-volt jackets in parallel. This way we can plug in two 9-volt batteries and only have one end like this male JST connector. Heat shrink tubing can help insulate the exposed wire and avoid short circuits. These alligator clips feature male jumpers so we can simply plug them directly into the JST connector from the 9-volt battery. The button can now be fitted into the box enclosure. It fits in snugly and holds in place with friction. Now we can attach the alligator clips to the tabs we built into the strips of copper tape. The second alligator clip is attached to a strip of tape on the end of the button actuator. Be sure to check your wiring before closing everything up. We thought we'd get crafty so we decorated the outside with this TNT graphic from Minecraft. You can get a spool of Kenthal wire from your local store or online retailer. We built our own coil by wrapping it tightly around a cylindrical object like this screwdriver. We found the tighter the winding, the faster it'll heat up. We can connect another set of alligator clips to the other end of our wire setup. This gets so hot it glows bright orange, so you want to be very careful not to accidentally touch it. We got ourselves some lengthy fuses so we could extend our setup. These come in different sizes. This thicker fuse will burn more quickly and emits large sparks. You can attach the extension to the main fuse with a piece of paper tape. And this will give you extra time to back away when it gets ignited. We think this is a safe way to light up fireworks, and it's a great way to get young kids involved. They can light up fireworks at a safe distance without the danger of burning their fingers. It's also great for assistive tech, so folks who might not have the dexterity in their hands can still set off fireworks. We hope you have a safe and festive holiday this summer, Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe for more DIY projects from Adafruit.